A query table is a versatile tool for simplifying complex data operations and enhancing the overall data analysis experience. It allows you to manipulate and analyze data by transforming and combining datasets seamlessly. Using query tables, you can combine data from one or more tables for filtering, batching, and transformation. Before getting into how to use query tables, here are some scenarios where you shouldn't use them. Simple calculations involving single tables, basic joining of tables, and sharing data based on filters can all be done easily in Zoho Analytics, using features like formulas, lookup relations, and filter criteria. Query tables shine in scenarios such as merging two tables based on complex conditions, executing calculations on one table guided by value-based conditions from another, pivoting or unpivoting tables, and generating aggregates. Let's see how to create a query table in Zoho Analytics. For example, take data got from a survey. We have a survey table that has information about two distinct surveys. Each survey involves a group of respondents identified by their unique respondent IDs who provide answers to a set of questions. Let us identify the respondents who participated in both the surveys using their unique respondent IDs. Once these common respondents are identified, their details can be mapped from the respondents table for further analysis. Click plus create and select the query table. The query table builder page will open. The query editor lets you type in your queries. You can type in your select query in any SQL dialect you are comfortable with. Zoho Analytics currently supports Oracle, SQL Server, IBM DB2, MySQL, Sybase, Informix, PostgreSQL, and ANSI SQL dialects. Enclose the table names and column names with double quotes if they have any special characters like white space, dashes, percentage signs, ETC. The insert tables slash columns tab at the right displays the list of all the tables and their columns in the workspace. The Insert SQL Functions tab provides a wide range of SQL functions that you can apply in your queries. Just click to pick the tables, columns, and functions required for your query from this list. Once completed, you can click the Execute Query button. Upon successful execution, the preview section will display the first 10 rows of the table you have created. Let's save the query table to view the entire table. We can see that the query table created contains a compiled list of respondent ID values shared between Survey 1 and Survey 2. You can now create reports over this table. We can create a report to analyze the respondents team-wise who attended the surveys. Click plus create and select the chart view. Drag and drop the teams in x-axis, common respondents with distinct count in y-axis, and country in color tab. Click here to generate a report. Sort the report by axis and you can change the chart type to gain more insights and make it more presentable. Now, let's take a slightly more complex use case. Let's take a transactions table, which keeps track of the payments received through various modes. We have four columns, debit card, credit card, wallet, and cash. To analyze this data further, we need to normalize the table by converting the payment received from each payment mode as individual records. Start creating your table by entering the query. In this SQL query, unpivot SQL function is used to transform columns into rows. The resultant table will incorporate two new columns, payment mode and amount, which provide individual records for payment modes and the amount received. You can now create a chart to analyze the transactions across different payment modes. Click plus create and select the chart view. Drag and drop the payment mode in the x-axis and the amount in the y-axis. Click here to generate a report. Change the chart type to ring chart to get a holistic view of the overall transactions. Thank you for watching this demo. 
For further inquiries, shoot us an email at support at zohoanalytics.com or call us on our toll-free numbers, 303-800-0000.